I think right now the best promoters are Canelo Promotion and PVC. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah, happy yeah. to be in this position right now. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Oscar De La Hoya, he finally opens up and he reacts to Canelo Alvarez deciding to fight Jaime Munguia on PBC as opposed to fighting him on DAZN. You guys may recall when Canelo Alvarez was forced to fight David Benavidez on PBC, he decided to go fishing over there on DAZN for an easier opponent and trying to get the type of guarantee that only PBC was going to give him. But once he found out that DAZN wasn't willing to pay him that same amount of money, he went back to PBC and ended up taking DAZN's fighter with him, Jaime Munguia. Just think about how crazy that sounds. Now, even though this fight is going to be on Prime Amazon and DAZN, this is a Prime Amazon fight. Canelo, he made that very clear by promoting this fight by putting up a PBC poster. Matter of fact, if you Google Canelo Alvarez versus Jaime Munguia poster, only PBC posters show up. There are no posters with the zone showing up. The only time you see a poster with the zone on it is if the zone is promoting it. Oscar also made it very clear in this clip. I'm gonna play for you guys that this is a PBC event. Now it's pretty funny though because this Mexican reporter who's interviewing Oscar De La Hoya, he's trying desperately trying to make it sound as if Canelo Alvarez he decided to leave PBC, go to the zone, and then come back to the zone. And this is exactly what he says in an interview. And he says, now the fight is on DAZN and PBC. He was finding it very difficult to accept the fact that this is a PBC card. But Oscar De La Hoya corrected him by explaining why Canelo Alvarez is going to PBC and why this fight is on Prime Amazon. Uh, can you kind of walk me through what, what happened there? I mean, it seemed like Canelo was... You know, on the PBC side, that didn't work out. Went to the zone with Eddie Hearn with Berlanga. It seemed like that didn't work out. Right. Went back to now it's like the zone and and Prime Video. Just what what, what happened there? What's what's going on? Um, look, what 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 happened was uh, what happened was uh, Canelo calls the shots. That's it. And um, you know, uh, um, Prime is 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 a a platform that is global, that is huge, that is bigger than anything in boxing here. So you have to seize the opportunity. And uh, obviously, Canelo really didn't have the option. Um, he wasn't going to fight Charlo. He wasn't going to fight Benavides. So we kind of cornered him into fighting Jaime Munguia. And uh, the plan worked. So once again, let me go back and correct what the reporter said. The reporter tried to make it sound as if Canelo was just going back and forth. He was indecisive. And then all of a sudden, he just decided at the last minute, I'm just going to do this deal with both uh, Prime Amazon and DAZN. That's not what happened at all. Canelo Alvarez, he decided to go back to PBC because they offered him the biggest deal. And even though Canelo and PBC, they didn't want DAZN to be a part of this promotion at all, they had to include them because Jaime Munguia is a contracted Golden Boy fighter on the zone. But the really good news about this situation is this further proves that two networks can work together to make a fight come to fruition if both fighters want to fight against each other. So all of that fighters on the other side of the street talk is completely out of the window. It is a new era of boxing now. And this is the reason why Javante Tank Davis, he was serious about a fight against Conor Ben who is a DAZN fighter. The only reason he didn't take that fight by his own admission was because he wanted more money from DAZN. Something else Oscar De La Hoya admitted was they didn't even want him to be a part of this promotion at all. Yeah, they didn't know oh, Oscar can be part of it. Fuck you guys. You know, like, yeah. what are you talking about? Like, this is my company. This yeah. is, it's Golden Boy. It's like, how can I not be there? So a little push, little tug, you know, it's, we got it all done. And, you know, I promised myself I will not let my ego get in the way, but I want to be here for this one. Yeah. So I had, to, I had to push back. Once again, this situation is so ironic because this was supposed to originally be an all zone fight. At least that's what the perception was when we heard the news that Canelo Alvarez had left PBC and went back to zone. And now here Oscar is saying that he had to push hard to even be part of the promotion. 
For those of you guys who don't know, Golden Boy and PBC, they have a very, very long history. It goes all the way back to 2015 when Al Heyman first emerged on the boxing scene. Well, at this time, Oscar De La Hoya and Bob Arum, they colluded trying to sue Al Heyman in the PBC series, accusing them of trying to monopolize the sport. Well, a federal judge ended up dismissing Golden Boy's lawsuit after leaked emails of Golden Boy employees calling Al Heyman racial slurs. And it was many racial slurs. Then you fast forward to last year when they were promoting the Ryan Garcia or the Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight. That was the fight where Oscar De La Hoya was so upset his fighter lost to Javante Tank Davis, a PBC fighter, that he decided to completely abandon his fighter, Ryan Garcia, leaving him at the press conference alone. Oscar De La Hoya would receive a lot of backlash for doing this. So he decided to come up with the excuse that he was receiving death threats the entire week and it was too dangerous for him to go to the press conference, so that's why he left. Even his own fighter, Ryan Garcia, didn't believe that excuse because Ryan was extremely offended that he didn't show up. So this and maybe other things that we don't even know about behind closed doors are reasons why PBC and Canelo Alvarez did not want Oscar De La Hoya there. Because I can assure you, if Canelo wanted him there, Canelo would have told Al Heyman and PBC, you know, he wants him there. But once again, Canelo Alvarez, he put that PBC only poster up on his channel for a reason when he was promoting the fight. He never wanted the zone to be a part of this event. Something else you guys may have noticed that Oscar De La Hoya said in that interview. He admitted that Prime Amazon, when it comes to boxing, they now have the biggest platform over any platform in the sport of boxing today, which obviously included the zone. So Oscar De La Hoya, he tried to sue Al Heyman about what, eight, nine years ago for monopolizing the sport. And now PBC is the biggest brand in the sport of boxing today. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called Elo De Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. An important message from Youth Fountain Laboratory, makers of Vasoflux and Vasoflux for Men. If you're over the age of 35 and over the years you've eaten pizza, dairy foods, deli meats, or meats with fat, you are likely to have some degree of plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. This increases your risk of suffering a stroke or heart attack exponentially, and no one wants such a catastrophic event to occur. Introducing Plaque Out. Plaque Out is made of all natural ingredients proven to help dissolve clots in the blood, remove calcium deposits and plaque from the walls of veins and arteries, improve viscosity of the blood, improve elasticity of the veins and arteries, treat varicose veins, and prevent the reoccurrence of plaque buildup. For more information, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856. And remember, to help unclog veins and arteries, get the plaque out.